Good morning, everyone. It's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And look, all the new stuff has happened, along with the content preview that should have dropped last night, but actually dropped at 6 p.m. today when the data download happened for Lumi. So, before we do the Should You Summon on Lumi, we're going to go through everything very, very quickly, because there are a few different things in here that were not in the JP one that I saw, because it was just a bunch of screenshots. Um, first off, they have gone back on their word and said that they will add the Konosuba story into the story digest so people who didn't play during then can at least, you know, experience what the whole collab was about and how it all went down. They did, you know, first off say that it was not going to return and then I think people threw a fit and were like, fine, we'll fork over the cash to whoever owns Konosuba and we'll get it in the game. So that's cool. Uh, we have Ranking Battle Season 9, awesome. And now we have the content preview. Lumi is out right now. We're going to talk about her in a bit. The packs. Don't buy the packs. Don't don't buy the packs. It's ranking battle, obviously. Um, we've got Predator Battle, which dropped tonight. So that's good. I need I need the rainbow stuff. Like, bad. We have the Octogram Guys Onslaught, which will start on Wednesday, technically. Wednesday um, the 9th for me. And there is a new little thing in here that says the Litho Valors needed to forge Valor equipment will be added to the Bazaar for his event, which is new. So that's cool. I, I mean, if you if you can beat the stages for Conquest Prime, it's not hard to get that because you can parallel process it. Process it? Eh. But I guess it's extra ones. Cool. Whatever. It's really only good for whales and people who really want to sweat in ranked Valor Cup. Otherwise, don't make Valor gear. Uh, we've got the once per day free recruit starting on the 9th as well, going into the 20th, because these time zones are UTC and not my time zone. We have the Tempest Great Harvest coming, which Great Harvests are a really, really, really good way to use your stamina, because it gives you a literal crap ton of food of all different types, because you can choose which type of food that you need, so you can prioritize units that require meat, or veggies, or rice, or fish. Um, and it gives you a lot of it, and you can parallel process the crap out of it, and then you can get a lot of bond XP, which gives you good amounts of crystals, and gives you more stats on your units. So, great harvests are always a good place to spend your excess stamina, especially now that the uh, Shizu summer event has gone. You don't need to parallel process that 20 times as well. Um, we've got the summer sleut login bonus, which unfortunately, they are normal Tempest tickets. So they're better than the bitch tickets, they're, but they're Tempest tickets. They are not tickets for Lumi's banner. So, big sad on that. Didn't really expect them to be, because uh, we learned... Uh, the gen the term uh, generous was what I was looking for in the last video. They are not that generous. Uh, then we have the special bingo, where you get the 10% rates, and then you get the guaranteed 5-star. And then we have the free construction slot, also starting on the 9th. And that is it. So, there's a lot of stuff coming on Wednesday. So I don't expect anything else for this entire week to happen, except for everything that's been announced here. And now let's talk about Lumi. All right, we'll just we'll go here. So the banner also has Water Shuna and Water Shion as featured units. Cool, whatever. But everyone's here for Lumi because she's Luminous Valentine. She's hot. She's in a maid outfit bikini, essentially. She's got a nice, you know, umbrella to protect her soft, soft skin from the sun. However, I cannot, in good conscience, recommend most players summon on this banner. Regardless, you probably already summon because you're like, I love Lumi, they love Lumi, everybody around me loves Lumi, and she's in a swimsuit, I can't pass her up. That's fine, you've made your own decisions, you've dug your own grave. However, um... She's not that useful outside of this specific meta. So if you summon for Lumi, you don't have Milim, you don't have Trainee, you don't have Shizu, she's actually going to do jack shit for you. And I'm gonna get a little heated because I don't like units that work this way, okay? So her ult, she's an AoE physical unit. She gives you 5% physical attack for one turn. Okay, cool, it's a support AoE. It goes alongside the dark AoE from Milim, cool. All right, EX is just 600%. Her first skill increases fire and dark alt damage by 50%, which stacks every time you use your protector 
up to 100%, which is really good because it only costs 55 points. So 100% alt damage for 55 points is a steal. However, it is only for fire and it's only for dark. Okay, so I'm just going to point out the number of teams that run on blues that um, are fire and dark, okay? So, Megamine, the fire EX unit. We just got her last month. She is her own ult buffer, all right? We don't need to double up, okay? So, fire team, a little unnecessary. Fire Shizu, fits on this current meta, fits on the Konosuba meta, kind of, whatever. Fine, whatever. Mark Dark Milum, current. Um, fire Violet, okay, cool. Her team, her meta team is orange focused. Now, can you put her on a blue team? Certainly. Is there a blue team? Is there a stage where you can put a blue-focused fire team in the game right now? No. There's not. Because the beatdown battle for the for Konosuba is gone. All right? Uh, the dark team. The dark 2.0 team, right? Um, Milam is the DPS for that. Already has 70% alt damage. And the 50% attack buff. You're not really going to replace her. Okay, it, and that team runs on greens. That's the the beat the tempered edge for that team nerfs blues for a long time. There's no point in bringing a blue focused unit there. All right, um, fire or no fire you know fire 2.0 2.0 2.0 you can technically work I guess technically it it's just that a lot of these units you can put them on a team. Right? You can have them under a different protector. But if we then look at the stages where you can use that effectively, um, this is a light team that's focused on blues. Okay, so they're not going to get the alt buff. This is a fire team. This stage nerfs blues after a couple turns. So, I, you know, technically you could. You could get away with it. Maybe. But then you already have, like, a uh, fire guy. Or you don't have fire guy, but you have Megamine, who is also a fire unit. So, it's, do, you, do you need it? This is the team for the dark team. Nerfs blues. And then we have, you know, the earth team, the space team, the water team, the wind team, the light team, the space team again. And we have another earth team. Alright? None of these units are going to get the alt buff from Lumi. So, there's only realistically one stage, plus the current beatdown battle, where you maybe could use Lumi effectively, efficiently purposefully, alright? That's not good, alright? I need people, and I recommend people summon on units that are high value across the entirety of the game. Megamine has that. Guy has that. Aqua has some of that mostly, because some stages nerf, some stages nerf Pierce. Um, Water goddamn Shuna, where is she? She has been relevant since she came out exactly one year ago. That's really good. The Hero 2 or Hero 1.0 has been relevant since she came out at the half anniversary of last year. Okay? These are high value good units. All right? You know who's not a high value good unit is this fucking where is she? Luminous right here. Cuz she's restricted to two teams and she's even further restricted because of her other skill which I haven't even talked about which was the one that was hidden from the skill preview and that is she buffs blue orb damage by 70% for two turns which is really, really good on a blue-focused team. Okay? All right, and then she charms for 15% for two turns. That's just icing on top of cake. All right, so let's let's review. You must be on a fire team or a dark team. You must also be running a blue-focused team. The combinations of this are low, right? Low. Guy, alt buffs for 80%. Right? You're only losing 20% right there. And he gives physical units guaranteed crits. That's really good. And he has the orb change for two greens and one orange and three blues. You can take that on any team. Yes, in order to get the maximum value, they have to be physical. But generally, you're probably going to be doing damage with Guy anyways. Or you'll be in a support role for a physical unit, like the Dark Melon that we have now. Cool. All right, so you're losing 10% alt, alt damage, 20% alt damage, between Lumi, Maxed Out, and Guy. Who just gets it? Just gets it. Um, this orb damage, right? Cool. Awesome. I love normal orb damage. I like seeing big numbers. Um, does it make up for the damage that we could potentially do on a nuke? 
with Guy giving guaranteed crits and the 80% and the physical Rimuru buff and the Violet buffs? Not really, no. Because if you take Guy out, you're no longer getting crits, so which means Violet's um, usability is cut in half. Unless you bring another unit that gives crits, which you can. And yeah, it's just unnecessary. I I don't know, I'm getting really heated about this. I, I don't like this unit. I don't like it. And, you know, continuing on, her Valor trait is terrible. Um, when you use souls while one enemy has their ult, you n lower their ult gauge by 10%, which most of the time, most characters don't have exactly 100% ult. They have 120, they have 200%, and in which case you're still going to die. It's a pretty shit Valor trait. Her actual trait, if you got dupes in her for some sad reason, uh, six combo blues, you get extra crit damage for her for the next turn. Alright, that's really cool and everything. Um, she's not the primary focus of damage right now. That's what's going to be Dark Millum. And you're not really going to put her as a support slot for Dark Millum, because one, they're not the same typing, and I just, you need someone to give you crits. Right? Right? Crit damage is activated by having crit rate. You know, uh, you know who gives crit rate? Guy. To physical units. Really interesting right there, right? It's... I don't... I don't... I don't like it. So, no. 95% of you out there watching this video should not summon for Lumi. She is not a character who is going to give you high return value in the next 3-4 months. Probably. I can't tell the future. I don't know if they're going to drop more Dark and Fire units. It's possible, but considering we're getting current Dark and Fire units, they're probably not going to give us any for quite a while. Shock surprise, who'd have thought? You know, they could give us more, hence all these goddamn Water EX units that we have, right? So, <laughs> grain of salt. But I don't really foresee it happening for a while. And even then, there are other units who can do almost what she does as far as the alt buff is concerned, but unrestricted, right? Megamine gives 80% ult damage to everybody free and easy, and then she gives herself a magic attack buff. Guy gives 80% ult damage to everybody. Physical characters, get to, uh, physical characters get the crit, all right? So there's a small limitation on him. There's a lot of physical units in the game right now. There's been a lot of physical EX metas, right? We've, we've, we've noticed that. So they're really good. Water Shuna all the way down here, again, proving her worth. It's a lower value by 10%, but it's the same cost. Well, lower value versus Guy at Megamine, sorry. 70%. She's 30% lower than a maxed out Lumi, which this is even, you know, pre presuming that you can use five stacks of Lumi, which in this current battle you can, definitely, and get her maxed out. But if you don't, and you only get two or three stacks for some reason because something went wrong, you're better off just goddamn bringing Guy or fucking Megamine, because then you're going to match what their output is, and you'll probably have more value out of them. <sighs> I've had a beer during the stream. And I still don't like this unit. I, I still don't think most people should summon. If you have Milan, if you have Trainee, if you have Shizu, you don't need Lumi if you have Guy or Megami. If you have EX Rimuru, awesome. If you have Water Shuna, excellent. You really, it's very unnecessary to need Valentine. Because her charm effect, like, yeah, 15% for two turns. You know who doesn't need Alt Gauge because she's self sufficient? The Nuker, Melum. She, she makes her own blue orbs, she gives herself Alt Gauge on blue orbs. She may she can send six blue orbs m multiple times. She doesn't need the charm. You need the charm for like her AOE and maybe she's his AOE. Oh, whoop de do. I, I I really really cannot stress enough that most people don't need Lumi. As far as usability is concerned, simping reasons are not my priority and not my problem for your box. Uh, you can do what you want. You are... Maybe not all of you are adults, but you can definitely make your own decisions. And if you, I have warned this last month. Right? 
you need to prioritize banners that will give you high value. The two-year anniversary, late October. People don't want to hear it. They don't want to wait three months and not sub because they got itchy fingers. And you know what? I do too, and I get it. But do you want this unit who will be relevant for two fights and then you won't touch her for like three or four months? Or do you want anniversary units who potentially have, you know, the ability to stay useful and relevant for a year, over a year, two years. We haven't been alive for two years in this game, but I guarantee you the Hero 1.0 is going to be relevant in two years. I guarantee you Guy is going to be relevant for a long, long time. Much, much, much longer than this Luminous is going to be. So you have to take stock and you have to prioritize who you want to summon for. You only have 1,000 crystals. Do you summon? Do you save? You save, you fucking idiot. Don't ask that question, because you know better. Alright? Am I offending you right now? I don't know. Maybe I am. But if you throw three multis at this, and you throw three multis at the next banner, and you throw three multis at the next banner, you're going to go into the anniversary with zero crystals. And you're going to be like, Joker, how do I get more crystals? Um, and I'm going to ask you, did you save for the past three months that I've been telling you to? No, I pissed it all away on random banners like Lumi and this and that and the next two months, whatever they are. I'm gonna be like, you're a fucking idiot. You deserve this. Alright? That's what I'm gonna tell you. If you ask me that in my Discord and you ping me, ask me, should you summon on this Lumi? And then in six, in three months, you'd ask me, why don't I have crystals for the anniversary? I'm going to tell you you're a fucking idiot. Quote, unquote. So... Save your goddamn crystals. Don't summon for trash. Don't summon for very specific, limited use units like Lumi. And save for something that will help your box out for the future of the game. And that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my ranting and my slight insults. Because I know some people do like that. I don't know. But yeah, that's it from me. If you did summon on Lumi, um, and you're not a complete Lumi simp, then please tell me why you summoned for her, and if you got lucky or not. And if you are a Lumi simp and you did summon, then I don't need a reason why you summoned, because you've just answered that question. So, bye guys.